Right, I have some excellent new pieces of equipment to show you today and all of them are really low cost, um, £10 or under and um, all of them can be used in the machine shop. So the first is this excellent new um, tachometer. This is a motorcycle tachometer. It's made of um, nice um, steel, chrome steel, very uh, nice thick chrome on there which is excellent for motorbikes or whatever. But I found that this one here can actually be used in the machine shop. And I do normally use this uh, type of tachometer. You may have seen it in my, one of my last videos and on uh, camera, this one was flickering. I did think it was the actual um, type of uh, tachometer, but it wasn't. I had one of the um, wires wired up incorrectly. And I've since done an instruction paper for the wiring for both the um, tachometer with the five white wires and the plug on the back there. And also for this type here, which has the red, green and black wires. And if you want to see that one, it's on my Google Plus page. So that instruction paper gives you the wiring for the tachometers, the proximity switch and it also gives details about the uh, way the magnet should face the proximity switch. And the great thing about this tachometer is you can actually buy it and use it straight away as it is because all the electronics are encased in this um, lovely um, chrome housing and you can just bolt it straight to a machine or another surface. The only other thing that you have to buy for the tachometer is a proximity switch and they do one, um, a motorcycle one, for this actual unit on um, the site. It's very similar to this one, a bit shorter and I'll put a link below. But what I did was bought another set, um, this set with the proximity switch and this tachometer is the same price as the motorcycle one on its own and I thought well I'll have one of those and have a spare display. And one other thing that I forgot to mention about the tachometer, because it's a motorcycle one, it's therefore waterproof and great for machine use because you can actually use it without getting any coolant, oil or swarf into the electronics. So I've wired mine up to a female jack um, socket, it's the ordinary 5.5 type and um, that's on most equipment these days. I do save any of these adapters up um, and use these for electronic equipment I've had in the past. Save all these up because they're great for this type of thing. And this type here can take um, 12 to 24 volts. I presume that this is the same. Um, there's nothing written on the actual listing page of the voltage and uh, I just presume because it's a motorcycle one it's 12 volts. So to power up the tachometer today and to test it, I'm going to be using this um, piece of equipment. It's a regulated power adapter with variable voltage. It has an AC input of 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. And an adjustable DC output voltage of 9 to 24 volts, an output current of 3 amps and power 72 watts. The one I'm using here obviously has the English power plug. I've never seen one that small before. Um, they must be saving on plastic which is a really good thing. And they also do it with the 2 pin plug for the American market. And I'll put links below where you can buy both versions, so make sure you actually choose the right uh, plug for whatever country you're going to use it in. It's made of a really tough ABS type plastic um, and being so small it's easy to carry round. And there's also um, holes on each side for securing it to a wall or a bench or whatever. You can leave it plugged in all the time because there's a switch on the knob here and I'm turning mine up to roughly around 12 volts and it's really dead accurate on that voltage. And it's a really clever piece of kit and has many different uses. 
So now I'm going to test the tachometer using a cordless screwdriver. I've um, stuck a rare earth magnet on the um, end there. And then I can hold the proximity switch up reasonably close to that, about, um, let's say about seven millimeter from that magnet. And that works excellently. And I'd just like to say that um, with these proximity switches, you must have the magnet round um, one way. If it doesn't work one way, I'll turn it back the other way just to show you. So the polarity is round the other way. If I hold the proximity switch up to that now, you won't get a reading at all. Turn the magnet over and stick it on again. and it works perfectly. And just before I go, I'd just like to show you this new small digital um, multimeter. It's a true RMS 8000 counts push button card digital multimeter ACDC tester. It's under £10 to buy and it's a really excellent piece of care and easily transportable being so small. It comes with the case and instructions and today on the site I've had a look and it's sold over a thousand units already and has a really good write-up.